scale is rigid. There's no flex in it. Um, yeah. All right, let's get set up now, and we'll get ready to mount the reed head. All right, where you're looking at right now is this is the bottom gib that clamps the um, carriage to our bedways. So I'm thinking, I don't know, there's going to be some kind of a bracket. It's either going to come right over to this portion, uh, maybe drill right up into this gib, and that will mount the reed head, or maybe somewhere around here. Um, but I think as a matter of principle, the closer you are to the ways, the, uh, the more rigidity you have. I mean, you know, you don't want to come too far out because then you're, you're just adding, multiplying any, any chance of an error. So I think we're going to make the bracket that's going to come and mount right up into this area right here. So we got our piece here that we're going to cut two slots in um, and we're going to drill and tap two holes on here. Two slots are going to go um, against the rear gib on the cross slide and there's going to be two holes that will accept the bracket that holds the reed head. So we'll have full adjustment here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to mill two half inch slots with 5 16 um, counter bores to let the socket head sink down. All right, I have a half inch, uh, I'm sorry, I have a 5 16 end mill in here. I'm gonna plunge through and I'm gonna just take it down and start cutting some grooves in here, which is gonna allow the piece to slide back and forth. using the power feed on the slowest setting. Alright. Alright, we got the half inch end mill loaded up. And we're gonna cut our counter bore now. All right, we have both slots cut. We got this one has the counter bore. Here's the last counter bore we're going to be doing now. Ah, a little bit of squeak at the end there, but that's fine. All right. We'll pull this out, we'll check it out, and then we're going to turn it around uh, to drill and tap the other side. So there we have it. Screw goes in, slides right in, and we have a lot of adjustment. I didn't like that. Cut that. All right, we got our slots milled now. Next operation is going to be to drill and tap two quarter twenty um, holes for bolts that will go through here. Uh, you know, to allow this thing to kind of slide like that. So let's get that done now. about it.
There we go. Completed piece. Ready to put on the reed head. Alright, I have my magnet here to collect all the chips and the dust. What I've done was I, just like the other holes, I held this right against here. I center punched it and now I started the drilling and we're going to continue and finish it. We've reached bottom. I'm going to switch out the tap for a bottoming tap now. Slow and steady. hit bottom. Sure as can be. get the scale out of the way so it doesn't get any junk on it. Let's get our magnet into place. enough. <clears throat> I'm not using the uh, the starter tap. I'm just going right in with the bottoming. This cast is very easy to tap so and it starts pretty it starts pretty well. Magnetic cleanup. Snug that down. Now we can set our height. We've got 
got a little bit of adjustment here. There, that's held nice and solid. Now I can push this right up against my scale. I got my shim in place, a little plastic shim that keeps our reed head off at a given spec. Looks like it's a little bit low. In fact, yeah, it is pretty low. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's give it a little turn and see how it works. Alright, I think that's pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the indicator to, uh, to get the, the uh, scale you know, leveled and uh, adjusted this way.